Announced in 2017, By Mutant was pushed back a couple of times, but now it's right around the corner with the official release date set 25th of May. So as we go over By Mutant's gameplay details, here is By Mutant, everything you need to know. Coming to PS4, Xbox One and PC, By Mutant is a third person open world post-apocalyptic kung fu style RPG game. It features some really impressive combat, gameplay that evolves with your character, a complex crafting system, all kinds of gear and upgrades, and it certainly doesn't lack story. It's all set in a massive, colourful world full of life. Biomutant's world is vast and diverse, with settlements of varying size. You have ruins to explore, wild untamed lands, tropical biomes, mountainous areas, lakes, rivers, tunnels, bunkers, you name it. Not only does Biomutant look great, the game will be packed full of content and activities to discover as you travel by land, sea and air. The main storyline focuses on the Tree of Life, which is being corrupted by toxic oil seeping up from the ground, affecting its five roots throughout the land. The game will have you travel to the end of each route to deal with large creatures known as World Eaters that are messing with the tree. That's where the boss fights will go down, and interestingly, players will have the option to destroy them or allow them to live on. The reasons will be made clear as we dive deeper. There are six tribes split up throughout the world that also play a big part in the story. Some tribes wish to save the Tree of Life, while others are more focused on themselves. You don't have to ally up, but you can side with tribes attempting to save the Tree of Life. This will negatively affect your standing with the opposing tribes. Biomutant has branching storylines where decisions like this will decide how the story will unfold. I really like games that react to your choices, and this game certainly has that sense of karma, with a system they used called Aura. Aura is represented by light or dark and is influenced by your character's actions and decisions you make during the game. It will influence the way characters react to you, the options you have available, perhaps even the ending of the game. It's been mentioned there will also be a great focus on the character's backstory. To size it up, it's been said that the script is nearing an impressive 250,000 words. With a rushed playthrough of the game, skipping all the quests and stuff, it can be completed in around 12 to 15 hours. But if you want to play the game as it's intended and take in the story, listening to the dialogue and exploring the world, it'd be more like 65 hours. There's also been mention of a new game plus mode, so the game will have that replayability. I'm sure even without that, it'd be good to jump back in and do things a little differently just to see how events unfold. Aside from story, Biomutant has some deep character customization with different breeds, races, attributes, resistance to environmental factors, and even your fur type. So if you want to be more of a rabbit, it, raccoon or squirrel, you got it. The six tribes throughout the game will each represent a different strand of DNA and you'll be able to pick from them or combine these to make something really unique. This choice will also affect your stats, but you'll be able to recode your genetic structure to change the way you look and play as you progress further into the game. There are different classes similar to traditional RPGs. These classes set you up, but as you progress you can evolve and develop into whatever you like through mutations, weapons, and through becoming exposed to different environments that can alter your character's mind and body. The combat system looks incredible, it's a great mixture of close and ranged combat where you dash and jump around. The martial arts style combat system allows you maximum freedom of movement and agility while mixing shooting, melee and powers from your mutations. As you progress you can adapt and learn new forms of combat to keep things fresh. It's definitely got some really fluid great looking combat, you can even jump off your enemies which I thought was a nice touch. There's a wide range of weapons, both single hand and dual wield. You can modify grips, sights, muzzles, magazines, and so much more. The game has a crafting system where items that you find along your way can be combined, and there are millions of combinations of modifications. We're not just talking weapons, there's protective gear for different biomes or contaminated creatures, bionic wings, jump packs, balloons, jet skis, horses, mech suits, and even submarines. A nice big world, a great sounded story, so many customization options, this game can suit all kinds of playstyles, and all of this from Experiment 101, a studio with only 20 employees. I'm really looking forward to jumping into this one. I used to really enjoy Zelda, and this game definitely has some Zelda vibes. Let me know your thoughts on this one, any questions drop them down below. Hope you found this video helpful or informative, thanks for dropping by, join the squad and subscribe, and I'll see you in another one. Peace out.